Hello students, today we are going to start with the most important topic, tenses. Before getting into this, I am going to tell something that there is nothing like to be scared of tenses. This is a very simple topic and if you understand properly, you will be able to have proper command that is you can write and speak English properly. So I will try my best to explain you this topic step by step so that it becomes easy for you all. Now tenses. Tenses are the form taken by a verb to show the time of an action or the state of an event. Since the tense of the sentence tells us when an action has taken place, it could be present, past or future. In this, we will be just discussing the first type of tense that is the present tense. Before moving forward, we must know that tenses are categorized into three main categories that is present tense, past tense and future times. And now, what is present, what is past and what is future? This is the most important thing that you need to know and write. When you know it, you will be able to categorize the tenses and use the right forms while speaking and writing. Because English is mostly based on our knowledge of tenses. So it is very important to have correct knowledge of tenses. The present tense. Present tense is used to describe things that are happening right now in the very present moment or an action that are continuous. Or present tense is something, something that is happening just now. Past tense. Past tense is used to describe things that have already happened. Example, earlier in the day, yesterday, last week, three years ago. Future tense describes things that have yet to happen. Example, later, tomorrow, next week, next year. Before we launch into learning tenses, it is important to familiar and thorough with the usage of the three forms of verb. Some examples are here. V1, V2, V3. Break, broke, broken. Bend, bent, bent. Forgive, forgive, forgiven. Bring, brought, brought. So, you all have to learn the three forms of the verb properly. The example of such verb and the list is endless. Now, let us come talk more about tenses. We will be deeply discussing all of them topic by topic. Today, we are going to just talk about the present tense. When we talk about the present, past and the future tense, they all have subcategories. There are four subcategories under all of them. So, in all, we will be having 12 tenses all together. So, starting with the present tense, we will be first talking of all. We will be first talking about simple present tense. Now guys, we are going to just learn like very easy way. Like we have formulas in maths. Same way, we have formulas in tenses. To make you more understand, we will discuss the formula that is structures and now let us see when and how we use simple present tense. Simple present tense is always used when you are stating facts or your habits or your routine work. For example, the sun sets in the west, he travels a lot. Honesty is the best policy. Now, let me discuss about the what uh, 
the simple present tense is what are the what is present continuous what is the usage and what is present perfect tense present perfect continuous tense later you will get the written structures with the instructions you all follow that instructions and learn the structures now we are going to move with the next that is present continuous tense present continuous tense is used to describe an action that is happening or an action that is going to take place in near future for example they are waiting for us at the restaurant i am coming to your place she is singing in the concert now we will be moving on to next type of tense that is present perfect tense present perfect tense is used to indicate an actions that has been completed just now action that is started some time ago and is still continuing till the time for example ram has finished correcting his homework we all know we have known the family for many years let us move to the present perfect continuous tense which shows an action that started in the past and is still continuing in the present time for example i have been reading this book for a week now grandfather has not feeling well lately so here we discussed about simple present tense when it is used with the example present continuous tense when it is used with example present perfect continuous present perfect tense when it is used with example present perfect continuous tense the usage with example here i present before you all the structures one by one the structures will have the structures will have assertive sentence negative sentence interrogative sentence so just see the structures and follow the structures